Hey YouTube, Yu Gi Oh Rocks 97 coming at you with a deck profile on a very underrated, uh, I, that's the nicest way to put it, deck um, that is not ever seen in competitive play. However, I have recently been trying to make it competitive, and uh, it took a lot of different cards and testing to make this deck go from the conventional build to what it is now. Um, if you're looking for the conventional build, this is going to seem quite weird, but to make this deck competitive, I couldn't play it the conventional way, um, with all the, like, the spells and stuff, so this build is really different from regular Crystal Beast, um, really strange if you're used to the regular version, and you're just going to have to see it to the end to, for everything to kind of come together, and I may do some duels with this deck on the end or something, because it's really hard to understand how this deck plays compared to the regular Crystal Beast, it's quite different, it plays more like wind-ups in a way, so yeah. So, three Pegasus, obviously. Um, it's the Stratos for the Crystal Beast engine, so you have to play three of it. Uh, three Cobalt Eagle. This is going to seem weird to the conventional player who plays Topaz Tiger. However, this is an Exceed version, so this being Wind makes Chidori and other cards a lot easier, so it's a better choice. And to round up the engine, to Carbuncle. Uh, it's the explosive Crystal Beast. Um, so there's eight Crystal Beasts, really different from the conventional lineup, which plays uh, three, three Pegasus, two uh, Mammoth, like three Tiger, and two Carbuncle or something like that. Um, then the really different thing about this deck is the three Hanzo. This is what makes the deck weird. Uh, this. Um, gets the trap card and the trap card can special Pegasus already making this deck ver the version of this deck a lot faster and more consistent than the conventional Crystal Beast this is also just a nice little simple plus one and it also can fool them to think you're playing something else and also sets up for boss monsters to summoner monk um, obvious good in Crystal Beast uh, gets Pegasus makes rank 4 plays it's a dark and uh, two Tour Guide as well. Uh, Tour Guide makes a lot of explosive plays in this deck um, because there's a lot of things where Levier makes this Carbuncle like super broken or gets back Pegasus and it's super busted. Um, hand Traps, two Valor. It's a light and uh, negates their effect, so obviously good. And uh, two Maxi. Maxi is just plus, like in this deck, Maxi is really good because. You play a lot of cards that by themselves aren't that well, so Maxi uh, gets your combo pieces. And two Trigodia, uh, you don't want to die, so Trigodia is really good. Boss Monsters, two Samorg, you, uh, Pegasus is a wind, and there's a lot of darks in the deck, and this is searchable by the trap card that Hanzo gets out. So this card's also 27, and against Fire Fist, it's really good, it's a Eradicator target. And it's just easy drop, 2700. Makes the OTK. In uh, one Sork, Banish Carbuncle, Levy it back, get all your spell and trap cards zone back. So, yeah. So, spells to duality. Uh, just make the deck more consistent. Um, simple. Rota searches the Hanzo. Very important. Because you need to make the deck more consistent. Uh, I only play five crystal spells, being three beacon. Um, this is the best crystal spell in my opinion, especially with the new extra deck card that came out, Fortune Tune. So you're never at a Carbuncle, technically. And um, it's the most explosive one. Pretty much, you get out Carbuncle. At, like, after one Pegasus, Pegasus searches Pegasus, and then when Pegasus dies, there's two back there. You just go Carbuncle for the two Pegasus, send two back in your spell and trap card zone, one including a Pegasus. And you can make a simple Chidori right there off one card. And this helps the deck, like, explode, like, really, really fast. Uh, and the other crystal card is two promise. I don't play blessing or field spell. Uh, like I said, this is not the conventional version of Crystal Beast. Um, this is like a reborn form though. Like if you put Carbuncle in the back, you can go off like with this. But this one clogs a little more than Beacon. Um, weirdly enough, so I only play two promise, and Beacon's just better. It's like more of a summoner monk for Crystal Beast. Um, mind control, it's just a good win condition. Not really a win condition, but it's that good sometimes. Avarice, uh, it's not good in the conventional version of Crystal Beast, but in this version, you exceed, like, a lot more, and have a lot more monsters. Um, 
one ninjutsu art alchemy. Uh, it's just a nice little plus one because you were not like in Crystal Beast. The reason the ninja engine was never really too good was because you can't clog your back row. Um, and this gets rid of the clog and you draw off of it, so it's really good. Uh, heavy Dark Hole Reborn staples. They're kind of obvious. Um, yeah. Dark Hole, not so much anymore, but still. And traps to Ninjutsu Art. This searches Pegasus and some Uh Being able to search Pegasus makes the deck really fast compared to the regular build um, and more consistent. This card is also just good for the little alchemy, which is a plus one. And uh, you can search Maxi if you're out of targets, which is also pretty cool. So I'm going to show a little bit of uh, the extra deck. Um, two Chidori. Uh, it's pretty much the main one, why you play Cobalt Eagle. This exceed is better than like the Utopia way in every single form. It's a plus one and really, really good. Gets rid of problem cards. Uh, Utopia, it's a rank four. Chain is really good. Uh, top deck certain things. Uh, sometimes dumping carbuncle is really helpful, and it's just a good to uh, stack your deck for whatever you need. Crazy box, uh, e red target. You can use its effect sometimes. Um, risky, but I mean it's just good. Phantasmal dragon. This is like a win condition. Three level four wins. Um, pretty much it attacks directly for six thousand, and they can't do anything about it. So if they're at six thousand or lower, then you kind of win unless they have mirror forest, dark hole, multi out. Like it can't be targeted, so. The Sigma, it's an out. Uh, Shockmaster, it's an out. There's supposed to be a Black Corn and Cowboy in here as well, uh, but I was borrowing those from my friends, so I don't have them. Levier, most explosive rank three, probably the best one. It's just kind of win condition sometimes. Fortune Tune, the new guy, uh, he's really good for recycling carbuncles and um, tour guides and gaining some life points every now and then. Kiades, this card is pretty good because, like I said, this deck works kind of like wind up sometimes, so it goes off with like three or four exceeds sometimes, or like just two to three, and then a boss monster. And then if they have a lot of monsters, you can put them all to defense, which are usually considerably lower than their attack, and you can run over them all, make this with two carbuncle. And then like regular Zen mains, Leviathan, not really special rank threes there. Uh, so yeah, that's the deck profile. It may seem really strange to a conventional user, um, but this is a competitive version, so I had to keep away from conventional use and try to make the deck better by using things that were outside the box, and um, yeah, it's a really weird build, but it's really good. Uh, it exceeds a lot. It works kind of like windups, and I hope you give it a try before you like knock it or something. I mean, Crystal Beasts were never considered to be super busted anyways. But I saw some potential and I decided I'd give it a go and uh, change the deck. So feel free to try it out on D or Dev Pro. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you find any way to make this deck better, leave it in the comments. I'll be sure to test it out on DN. And I actually plan to be taking this deck to a regional sometime. So uh, wish me luck. Yeah, I'm playing Crystal Beast at a regional. So I'm going to need a lot of luck. And this was Urx7. Bye, YouTube.